Good morning, everyone. How you doing? Right, I'm going to need to put my glasses on because I can't see shit. And it's chucking it down with rain already. Oh, so look, right. Right, am I live? Am I live? Can I see the chat? Where do I find the chat? Um, bum, 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 bum. Cancel. Right. If anyone's in the room, A, can you hear me? And B, can you put something on the screen so I can see you? Sun out of Northern Ireland today. Lee, can you hear me okay, mate? Because I can see you there. Um, if anyone else can hear me, if anyone can hear me. Hi, Paul, it's me, Jess. Hi, Jess. Yeah, can anyone hear me, though? That's the big question. All good here. I can hear you. Good. Right, that's brilliant. Right, thanks, guys. Right, good morning, Mags, Loon Valley. Uh, loud and clear. Good, good, good. Sharon, Alan. Catherine, right, I won't be able to say good morning to all of you because it's pissing down with rain, okay? Um, and we are here this morning in one of the cemeteries in Portsmouth. My eyes are fogging up already. Um, look at this behind me straight away. Wow. Okay, now I might be a little bit wonky. It looks wonky on my phone, but Lee assures me it's straight, but never trust Lee. Um, yeah, it's chucking it down here and, um, you know, good morning to you all. It's Friday the 13th, of course. So I thought, what better way and rather than sitting on my backside indoors, than to come out and let's just turn that way, that way, and come out and have a little look around the cemetery here. It's a bit windy, but hopefully you can hear me. Morning, Dave. Morning, Jess. Yeah, all good, everyone. So I'm starting off. I'm looking quite dry, fresh, and showered. But by the time this ends, I will be absolutely soaking wet through. So what we do is I'll turn this around for a second. Not wonky, mate. Good stuff, one of the. And look, the first thing we see, look. Look at that. Who's this for? Samson Tubb, born 11th of October, 1840. Okay, so it was a birthday two days ago. Uh, died 27th of January, 1891. See, this is what I like around these sort of places, guys. It's just having a little look around. Now, in a minute, of course, I'm gonna start talking about Friday the 13th, because today is, of course, Friday the 13th. I've got notes on me. So you may hear a lot of rustling around. You may hear me shouting that my notes have got wet and blown off, but, I'll try and do the best job I can, okay? Because I can't remember all this stuff, as always. Same as when I'm out and about filming. Hi, Sabian. Uh, unusual content, hi. Um, you're fine, don't worry. Good stuff. Right, okay, now Friday the 13th is considered an unlucky day in the Western superstition. It occurs when the 13th day of the month in the Gregorian calendar falls on a Friday, which happens at least once every year, but can occur up to three times in the same year. For example, 2015 had a Friday the 13th in February, March and November of that year, which will happen again in 2026. Now, 2017 through 2020 had two Friday the 13th, 2016, 2021, and 2022 had just one Friday the 13th, as well as will 2025. Now, this year, 2023 and 2024 have two Friday the 13ths. Good morning, Melinda. Just talking about Friday the 13th, if you just joined us. A month has a Friday the 13th, if and only it begins on a Sunday. Now, I didn't know that until I started doing my research, okay? One source mentioned for the unlucky nature of the 13th is a Norse myth about 12 gods having a dinner party and the trickster god, Loki, you may all know him from the four films, um, who's not invited, arrived as the 13th guest and, um, arranged for Hula to be shot with a boulder with a mistletoe tipped arrow. A uh, boulder died and the whole earth got dark. The whole earth mourned. It was a bad and unlucky day. Uh, the major event in Norse mythology caused the number 13 to be considered unlucky. Now I'm just going to stand on this tree a little bit because my notes are getting soaked. Um, <laughs> now Christian associations, the last supper of Leonardo da Vinci, the superstition seems to relate to various things like the story of Jesus last supper and crucifixion in which there were 13 individuals present in the upper room on the 13th of Nissan Monday, Thursday, the night before his death on Good Friday. So there we go. Now my notes are getting absolutely soaked. So I'm going to chuck them in my pocket for a little while and I'll get them out again and continue that in a moment. So what we do though, is we'll have a good look around the cemetery. So if you chuck your messages in, I can say hello to people. Hopefully my notes won't blow out my back pocket. Hopefully you can all hear me loud and clear still. Um, 
Okay, hi Paul, hi Maria, uh, hi Verified, uh, Ghost Hunters, hi Green Willow, hi. So let's have a little look around at some of these old graves around here. Isn't it cool, Friday the 13th. Uh, my mum was born on Friday the 13th. Um, hi Kathy, hi Donna. So yeah, that wasn't my mum's born on Friday the 13th, it just said there, someone else. Uh, hi Ed, how you doing? Now these row of houses here, obviously back onto the cemetery, which is pretty cool. I'd love to live in one of them and just jump out in the middle of the night and come and do some seances and stuff. Um, Gillian, hi Gillian, hi Karen. Um, good morning, Ben, hi Janice. Janice, Janice, however you pronounce it. Okay, so we're having a little look around here. Now these all look like they're pretty sort of forgotten, don't they? Just, but they're dry under the trees, you know. Uh, morning, Paul, stay lucky and keep dry. I'm trying, yeah, look, people, I'll show you, look. I'm trying to stay dry. Look, drowned rat. Already drowned rat, see? Um, hi, Karen. Hi, guys. Morning. Hello, dog. Um, so, yeah, I'll just show you a few more here, look. So, I'll turn this around. Because we've got a lot that have obviously gone over. Now, sometimes it's reported that, obviously, wind damage, just nature, all the rest of it. Um, and in other times, it's reported that the groundskeeper... If they think they're unsafe, they will tip them over. Now, whilst we're in here, guys, I've just got to turn around because there are some relatives, or not necessarily relatives, excuse me, there are some headstones in here which have some relation to Charles Dickens in terms of ex-wives, girlfriends, and other bits and pieces, okay? So... Good morning, Brett. How are you? Um, so we're carrying on having a look around. Now, I don't know where they are. I'm literally coming into this blind today. It was a last minute thing last night. I was like, what can I do for Friday the 13th? I hadn't planned on going traveling. Done enough of that lately. So I thought I'd just go to one of my local cemeteries. I haven't been in for many, many, many years and take you guys on a little bit of a autumnal, wet, cold. That's not cold, to be honest. It's quite warm. Um, morning. I haven't been in this cemetery for a long time. It's probably the second biggest one in Portsmouth, I'd imagine. Uh, first one being Kingston. Uh, hi, Helen. Hi, Verified. How are you? Hope you're all well. I uh, hope you can see us okay. Has the lens got any water on it? Or are we all right? Are we clear? Let me just scrape that off a little bit in case there's any... Because I can see my screen, yes? Right, okay. So what we do now is we're going to have a look. We try and find some interesting or unusual graves. Morning, Steve. How are you, sir? Right. Okay. So let's have a little look down here. Uh, Brett, New Zealand ghost hunters. Hi, mate. What's it like in the future? Are things all good still on planet Earth? Uh, morning, Mark. Um, okay. I'm just trying to find something that might be worth looking at. Come on, let's go and explore. Let's go and get a bit muddy and dirty and stuff, shall we? Let's just go and find a random one and have a look. Uh, the Naval Service Graves with it being in Portsmouth. Yes, Lee, there, there's quite a few Victoria Cross ones around here as well, I believe. Now, when you see these ones, they're all smashed in and stuff. You often wonder why. I think these ones have been laid down on purpose, you know. Um, but you often wonder why they're left like this, don't you? Right, this, this little white one over here on its own is just jumping out let's go and have a look now if any of you guys want to do a bit of uh, research while i'm walking around if you see anything and you think oh i wonder who that is or you know oh, it's just a random ba battle like 24 tc battle uh is that your pink barbie house paul uh what pink barbie house lee i can't see one probably not me right let's have a look at this thing it's got to, got to mean something hasn't it um Let's have a look. Hi Dion. Let's go around here. Don't forget guys, if you can share it out, let people know that I'm live this morning because I know a lot of people like to see the lives. Now I can't really read this as well. I've got my glasses on. Uh, in love and memory of Rowan Alexander Jardin. Jar oh, Jardine. Jardine, is that Valentina? Something like that. It's a really uh, hard for me to see. You might be able to see it a little bit easier at home. Um, who passed to the high life that's a big bigger 
cross though, isn't it? In the middle of uh, the cemetery here. Can't read it. No, I can't either. I've gone in nice and close. Okay, let's have a look. Let's keep going around. It's always good to have a little bit of new stuff. Um, I think there's a um, mausoleum in here somewhere as well. So we'll have a look for that. Let's go up past this bit. You need a torch, Paul. I need new eyesight. I've got the specs on, but they're covered in water and stuff already, but I can't read you guys about them. Um, hi, Dave. Hi, Sue. Hi, Jim. Hi, Sabian. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. They don't see me, do we? Hang on, let's get off me. All right. Do you know what? I, I love the, um, you know when you see real red leaves or real bright orange? That's beautiful, isn't it? But we haven't really got that here. They, they look like they passed their sell by date here. Right, just need to wipe my glasses off. Okay, let's have a look. If any of you guys see anything, right over here, this looks like there's some military graves over here. Let's go and have a look at some military ones. Because those ladies and gentlemen gave all for us. But this thing looks interesting as well. It looks like a scroll of some sort. Let's go and have a little look at that, shall we? Contact lenses. I did try them, Steve, but I just couldn't get on with them because I need them for reading, but I couldn't get on for driving, obviously. All right, he answered the call, sacred memory of Bertram, loving, dearly, uh, dearly beloved husband of Florence Dalton, who passed with His Majesty's forces to join God's own battalion as a soldier of Christ on July the 18th, 1915. Wow, that's been kept in amazing condition. Uh, age 44, Mizpah. Do not grieve, I am not leaving you, but my name is written there. All's well with those who live in the heart of their beloved, for their dwelleth in God. Wow. Now, I know this bit's all a bit old and tatty and whatever, but... You know, it's nice to see uh, that the actual headstone itself has been looked after. And there's a Royal Air Force gentleman over here. As an ex-Royal Air Force gentleman, I suppose I should uh, come and see him. Squadron leader Fenwick, uh, Fenwick of Canada, pilot Royal Air Force, 4th of March 1945. Oh, bless. Bless, 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 bless. You know, it, I think kids today sometimes take for granted what we have and don't always um, come and think about these people that gave up what they did for us uh gunner forest i won't go around all of them guys don't worry um now that you beat crowfast at gloria Ducan. i know what that means that's the royal artillery it's everywhere the right and glory leads and the only reason why i know that is because i used to be the royal Ar artillery cadets when i was in the when i was a kid um and obviously the per radio astra over there uh, royal air force uh, right okay so we've got a nice big one there as well but along here look we've got loads of um and when you see their ages like 22 um, that one hasn't got a gentleman's age on. 57? Wow, that's quite a done quite well in life to get to 57 during the wars or stuff. I've got here. Um, 41. Some of these are a little bit older. Usually you see young kids and stuff like in their 20s and things like that. Uh, but just have a little scan through. Wall artillery, wall marine artillery, on for Lee there. <clears throat> and another royal artillery let's have a look, look around here hang on just wait for this blooming thing to pan around god that's so slow right and then of course we've got some more military ones there i won't go through all of them guys because we'd be here for a month for sundays uh let's have a look at this one though shall we um in love memory of dear husband william john turner royal marine artillery died january 19th 1915 aged 41 years if thou shouldn't call me to resign what most i prize never was mine i only yield thee what is thine they will be done oh, bless right let's have a little look around the cemetery i don't know why i said it like that because i'm not posh right let's keep going let's have a look if you see anything that looks a bit weird or unusual don't forget to like the stream guys yeah thank you uh, for saying that mark okay so what are your thoughts guys are any of you like wary or suspicious about living near a cemetery I, now i grew up next to a cemetery not this one but a different one and i liked it i used to go in there as a kid all the time on my own and just um, feed all the crows like i've said millions of times before and it was uh relaxing i used to find it very calming as a kid to do that um let's have a look this looks like there's a little bit of a wall here oh there's a little path let's come through here 
Now look at these. Some of these are big and old and uh, high fat home and cemetery. Yes, yeah, so they're great places. I can hear rats aren't running around my feet. I love going to cemeteries. I just get scared. Do you know what? I don't find cemeteries scary at all. I find them so chilled. Um, and what I was thinking, guys, I'm going to try not to obviously let it happen today. Um, but what I was thinking is uh, maybe do like a bloopers for Christmas because I've got some bits and bobs where I've tripped up or sworn and all sorts of things on, on video. So would you like to see a bloopers for Christmas at some point? Um, I'll have to shift through quite a bit of material though because I haven't been saving them. But oh, today's top. <clears throat> People always ask me what the tops are. I've got the Reaper on today. Uh, I've got to say a massive thank you to Linda for that. Very kind of you. Okay. Um, yes, that would be amazing. Yeah. Okay. So what I'll do is if I can get out some of the stuff, I'll try and do a Christmas bloopers. Oh, shh, nearly fell down a hole then. Right. Let's get off me. Let's get back to... Okay. Look at these ones. It's all overgrown and stuff. Look. See, this is what always doesn't worry me, but I always think one day I'm going to put my foot down one. Uh, Loon Valley panel, have you got anything for Halloween? Yeah, I have actually. Um, Halloween, there is a video coming. I'm still in the, still making it at the moment because I started last week and there was a grave I couldn't find, which is part of it. So I've got to go back to London next week in Bloomin' Field because I found it now. Um, but yeah. Now in this cemetery, I will come in one day and do... Um, a bit more research on the Victoria Cross because I think there's a couple of Victoria Cross winners in here but I don't know enough information about them so I don't want to come in here and start talking about them stuff so what I'll do one day is I'll come in here and uh, do a special on them because they obviously deserve some recognition as well as their Victoria Cross it's nice for us in our generation to recognize them now look at the tree over there gone for a button call it Paul would be all right on the unusual night yeah <laughs> something like that Alan hey <laughs> I don't think I'm ever all right on an unusual night. I think that pigeon's seen better days, don't you? Maybe the fox has had it. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, look. A bit messy. Kentucky Fried Pigeon. All right, oh, hang on, sorry, I'm going all over the place. There's an old cemetery near the local pub. Uh, hello to anyone if you just joined us. Sorry if I haven't said hello. I'm just trying to look as I'm walking around to see if there's anything good that we can come and be nosy and have a look at. Um, for those of you wondering where I am, I'm in Portsmouth in Highland Road Cemetery. Uh, so if you're nearby and you want to say hello, drop in. Won't be here too long. Um, but yeah, look. I love it when you get this old, you know, like when you see the Hammer Horror films and you get these oldie type big headstones and they're all like clumbered together and you can see like a fallen tree or something like that in the background. I'm from Hailing Island. Hi, Lucas. How you doing? Just over the road, Hailing Island. Um, are you feeling okay? Why do you do graveyard time? You're not dead. Hey, I don't think I read that properly. Hey, let me just do my jacket out, guys, because it's just starting to rain again. Sorry. Um, sorry if I miss your messages. If there's anything majorly important, I'm sure Lee will pick it up for me and highlight it to me as well. God, it sounds like someone's having a right old time over there. Screaming and shouting, standing in the corner. Um, great. Can you hear them? Right, let's have a look over here. Sounds like there's a madman on the loose over there. If you start running in a minute, guys, you'll know why, all right? Um, <laughs> let's have a look at this thing. Morning, Kazzy. All right, hi, rest the mortal remains of John Brimer. Died May 18th, 1905, age 62. Wow. Look at the state of all these that all collapsed. Uh, loving memory of my dear husband from loving wife Angela. That's huge, isn't it? 
I often wonder when they have big ones like that, if they're going to put like the rest of the family in and things like that. Let's go over here because I've seen what it looks like someone carrying a cross. It's one of, my, one of them ones where you want it in black and white in a slow mo pan round, you know? Just give it that sort of look. Ah. Uh. See that all right, guys? Wow. It's a bit dull out here. Right, so what are you all doing for Friday the 13th? Come on, does anyone celebrate it? Does anyone watch the movies? Does anyone go out? Does anyone look for Jason Voorhees in the woods? Does anyone go camping at Camp Crystal Lake? <laughs> Hello, Steve from Pasadena. I was just literally going to ask, have we got any overseas viewers in this morning? Oh, hang on. Let's have a look at this, because I've just seen this. Let's go and have a look over here. Uh, watching Wild Hogs. I, do you know what? I've only seen half that film, and uh, I need to get around to watching the rest, because I like, I liked it. Right. I just found the grave of my aunt who died, age three, from diphtheria. Ah, oh, sorry to hear that. Happy Friday 13th, everyone. Yeah, happy Friday 13th. Right, let me just wipe the lens off again, because I can't see, because my screen's got covered in water so it's difficult for me to see right um in loving memory of obviously lots of people i'm not going to read all those out there it says their sisters in nazareth um let's see has got that big across the harbour from you does that count as a board yeah of course it does smudger uh nearby there's a church buried russian princess wow yeah i'm gonna start doing a bit more ones that are um Again, unusual, a bit weird, it's things that we don't think of, because, you know, I do lots of famous ones, obviously, but they're getting done to death at the moment, aren't they? So I'm going to start looking into some that aren't necessarily well known. So if you have any of those, then uh, obviously, by all means, get in contact with me. Look how orange that is, how beautiful that is that. There he is. Come on, man. All right. Now this one looks like an old wooden type. It's 130 in Pasadena. Wow. That's warm. <laughs> That's very warm. Anyone got any questions while I'm in here? I don't know if I can answer them, but I'll try my best. Morning, Linda. Can you all hear me okay still? That's that's one of the most important questions. Sorry, I won't put the camera on you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, something about cemeteries, are oh, the wall grey, so many died. Yes, yeah, true, John Paul. It's always sad to see those. Right, I'll see one over here and it's got a gentleman's picture on it. Now, this is what I used to do as a kid. I used to look at the pictures and wonder what sort of life, you know, the, the person that was on there looked. And he looks like a very smart gentleman, look. Um, let's have a look. In loving memory, uh, Louis Angelo. Oh. Now, there is some down there, but there's a rose bush in the way, and it's very hard to see, and I really don't fancy getting my hands in there, but you guys might be able to see that a bit better on telly. Hi, Nicola. How you doing? Um, hi, UK phone. Hi. Anyone else I've missed? Okay. So let's have a little look. carry on round here now I just have a little look along here my glasses are soaking wet again as usual because this one isn't really the biggest of seven I think like I say earlier on I think it's like the second biggest in Portsmouth I think Kings oh, no actually might be oh, the Milton Cemetery as well um, let's have a little look over here Uh, Elizabeth Hady, is that Hady? Uh, also, the memory of engineer Rear Admiral George Arthur Hady, Royal Navy retired, who died suddenly. Uh, something, can't read that last bit. It's a problem, but it's so old. Now, we've got to go and have a look at this one, haven't we? Because this is a biggie over here. 
love memory of uh, Amelia Baber Saxby, daughter of the late Charles Saxby of Furness Vale, Cheshire, born June 8th, 1846. I think that is, died February 28th, 1895. Okay, let's have a look. This is where Paul's going to go for a burn. Oh, I'm going to go the other way. I fancy slipping us over the tit on that. Right. Okay. So, Friday the 13th. Is anyone superstitious? Does anyone have any superstitions at all? What was the oldest grave you visited, Paul? Oh, I can't remember, Steve, off the top of my head, mate. Um, I don't, really don't know. That would be one of those ones where I have to go back and have a look. Let's go, let's go under it. <laughs> Uh, David Main, CE. That one's weird, and it? it's just like buried into the ground with like a like half the top hanging out, sort of thing. Has the cemetery in Gosport yet? Is that still open? That place? I know has the hospital's not, is it? Um, yes, won't walk under ladders. <laughs> Let's have a look up here. Can you all hear me okay, guys, still? Um, yeah, we're all kind of ladders. Trying to make sure, looking at huge amount of money invested in those graves. Yeah, you know, that's the thing, isn't it? You know, do you want to spend money and you're okay, Paul? Yeah, great, thanks, Jess. As long as you can hear me okay, that's all I, yeah, sound good, right. Okay, so let's go and have a little look over there because that looks like there's a cluster stopped raining again now so that's good and whilst i'm walking around guys i am looking around because like i say there's a couple in here that are connected to charles dickens now he's not buried in here he's born in portsmouth um but there are a couple of little ones in here that i'm just going to keep my eyes open for on my travels i didn't research them beforehand or anything so i don't know where they are it's just going to be purely potluck if we see them Providing you guys are still happy, you know, if you're happy with me, continue walking around. As long as you're not bored yet, are you? Uh, I always salute Magpie. Won't walk under ladders. Where's Charles Dickens buried? I think he's buried in London somewhere, I'm sure he is. Might be um, Westminster or something, but he's born in Portsmouth. I did a video on his house when I first started out, actually, but I tried to get in the museum and it was like end of COVID, you know, still a bit, and then you got to book an appointment and all that sort of stuff. So I will try and get there again because Charles Dickens obviously wrote Scrooge and I love a bit of Christmas. So I think it's good that we uh, pay our respects for old Charlie, Charlie Dickens. All right, uh, been to his house, yeah. Never put shoes on a table. Yeah, that was, used to be one when I was a kid, you know, I've only say, don't put new shoes on a table. Um, as it's Friday the 13th, I don't know if you can see it. I've got my Jason Voorhees ring on. Can you see his face? I don't know, it might not be able to. It's really hard for me to hold the camera and pull back a bit. There he is, Friday the 13th, Jason. Um, problem is, where I've lost weight, it's too big and it's sliding off my finger. Uh, John Paul, I sort of saw that. I'm a humanist, so I believe something or another. Didn't quite catch the end bit though. It disappeared off the screen. You bow to crows, Maria. I've never heard that one before. Um, all right, let's have a look over there because there's a big. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is there a door to try? Come on, we can't do a live, can we? And not, not see if it's. It looks like it's bolted up beyond anything to me. It wouldn't surprise me because there's a wall you can get over so easy. And there's so many um, little tow rags that come around at night time. Yeah, that's proper locked up. You get in there. Um, but let's have a look over. Let's have a little walk along the main road bit. And we'll go to that one over, over there. Open an umbrella indoors. Yeah, I've heard that. People don't open umbrellas. Wind is a bit loud, but it's okay. All right, okay. I'm trying to cover the mic up as best I can, guys, for you. Um, and I'm trying to talk relatively loud so you can hear me okay. Now this is Highlands Road for any of you that know Portsmouth. And there used to be a pub over there called the Grave Diggers, funnily enough. I guess who used to like going in there? Um, not a lot, but went in there now and again. <laughs> right, I'll just take my glasses off because my eyes are killing me. Um, I want to have a look for a couple of these, or at least one of these ones that are related to Charles Dickens that we're aware of. 
So what I'm thinking, guys, is for the Halloween one, Halloween's actually on a Tuesday this year, so I'm thinking of still putting it out on a Sunday rather than a Tuesday. Sunday's a good night, it's quite chilled. Tuesday, actual Halloween itself, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. Any witch graves as many back in the day from Portsmouth? I don't know, Lee, to be honest with you, mate. I haven't really looked into witches and their connection with Portsmouth. I should do, because it is a subject that interests me. Um, yeah, so the, the Halloween one, I'm going to put out on the... Sunday night, which is be the uh, 28th, 29th, is it? 31st, 30th, yeah, 29th. So I'm going to put that out then, guys, all right? Um, because usually we have our Sunday night, Sunday matinee night, don't we? Um, Charles Dickens is buried at uh, Poets Corner in London. Yeah, I know it's London somewhere. Uh, Sunday night's good. Uh, what's the cemetery called again? Ports Highland Road Cemetery, Lee, in Portsmouth. Sassy, mate, sassy. Right, let's just have a little look around here. Uh, again, guys, if you've got any questions while I'm in here, um, like I say, I haven't done too much research in this place. I don't really know loads about it, so I can't really answer too much about the history or anything like that, because I've literally, it was a last minute thing last night. I was like, right, Friday the 13th, let's go and have a look. Right, sacred to the memory of Elizabeth Richards, who died the 13th of May, 1867, aged 46. Also, Sarah Richards, sister of the above, who died March 8th, 1895, aged 71. Wow, that's big, isn't it? Let's have a look at what it says here. I can't really read the uh, type of writing. Uh, in memory of, you guys might be able to see it better than me. Someone, someone, Stratham, is that straight? Stratham. Uh, the, and then it's been damaged. Born December 8th, 1803. Died April 25th, 1883 at somewhere market, Cambridgeshire, I think that's it. Uh, therefore, be ye also ready in such an hour as you think not the son of man cometh. Uh, it's just all rhymes and poems and bits and bobs from the Bible. Isn't it? We're not going to get all all religious -y while we're in here. Just come and have a look around. Um, right. Now, <laughs> drown that man. I see a door. I see a brown door and I want to open it. Should we go and try and open it? Let's see if we can get in. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Sorry about the singing. Mick Jagger did it better. All right, let's have a look. It's locked. Boo. Proper boo. Sorry about that, guys. Let's try. Let's have a little wander around here. Look at some of these old bad boys. Constance Ellen Dicker. Unusual name. Constance Ellen Dicker. Right, let's have a little look. Around here. Okay, there's one there. It's, uh... I'm always conscious when people are walking their dogs because I don't want them thinking I'm filming them. Um, Crikey, I used to see some tiling on, like tiling like that in the 70s in my nan's kitchen. She's probably up there moaning at me now. No, you didn't. All right, let's have a little look around here. Uh, hi to anyone that's just come into the room, but I haven't said hello to you. I've just been having a, a nose around to see where we what we can find. I'm in Highlands Road Cemetery in Portsmouth. That looks fancy, yeah. Right, it's also of John Downey Aitken. I wonder if that's the back of a grave and then there's more info on the front. Yes, I thought so. Let's have a look. John Aitken, engineer, Royal Navy, late HM Yacht. Victoria and Albert, who died April 10th, 1874, aged 35 years. The glory of children are their fathers. Also, Beatrice Jenkinson Downey died December the 19th, 1875, aged 71 years. Also, John Downey, late inspector, 
Royal Machinery afloat and the husband of the above who died at Hong Kong, February the 21st, 1864, aged 49 years. Also Hannah Balshier, widow of the above who died March 10th, 1925. Wow. It's amazing, isn't it, when they fit so many people into one little... This thing looks a bit... Um, a bit wordy. Let's go have a look. Ah, lovely weather, Paul. Great day to come out. All right. Uh, in loving memory, Christopher Rowland Richardson, late Colonel, commanding HM 76th Regiment, who entered into rest February the 6th, 1900. He served throughout the subtle campaign, is that subtle? Sutledge, sorry, campaign, taking part in the Battle of Mootkey, Mut is that pronounced? Uh, can't pronounce that next word, Ferrazza and uh, O'Brien. So, so Brian, uh, for which he had the medal with two clasps. He was actively engaged in the Punjab campaign and was present at the action of Ramanuga. I, I can't say all these words. Uh, Ramanuka, I think that is. The passage of the Shinab and the battles of Sado, Sadalapo and Chili Wawawa. Uh, with the field force in pursuit of the Afghans to the Khyber Pass, for which he had also a second medal with two clasps. He was also actively engaged in the Indian Mutiny, being awarded a third medal with a clasp. Also, Lydia, the dearly loved, loving wife of the above. Wow, that gentleman's got some amazing history there. Amazing stuff. What a, what a life he's led. Okay, so, so we just come down this bit. carry on down here sorry love I walked past you I won't film you <laughs> okay this is beautiful here look An affectionate remembrance of beloved husband Thomas M Farland wow love that's a McFarland M Farland okay just come past here because there's some other dog walkers don't want to film them morning you all right this looks like loads of watsits on the floor. <laughs> Get a bit hungry when I'm walking around here. Hi from Florida. Hi Ryan. I bet it's sunny in Florida, isn't it? I bet you haven't got this uh, October weather that we're having here, have you? <laughs> uh, hello, Laurie. Uh, anyone else that's just joined us? Hi, how you doing? Right, let's have a look at this. Uh, Waterloo, 18th Hazards, Royal Hazards, uh, Peninsula. Um, is that 11th Dragoons? Sacred to the memory of Colonel Thomas Murray Pryor. Wow, lots of colonels in here. A bit, uh, 16th July 1864, aged 74 years old. Wow, and who's this one? Uh, an affectionate remembrance of... Uh, does that say Robert? I can't quite see that. Or was that Rebecca? Rebecca Emma. Um, dearly beloved wife of... Jane, I can't quite read that right. You guys, again, might be able to see that bit about me. The, the font on it is a little bit. Mm. Of 65, somewhere, St. George's, Portsmouth, born April 19th, 1815. Wow. Like I say, I've never really had a good look around in here before. Sorry about the wind. I'll try and cover up my mic. But it's really interesting, some of the, um, the places. I, need to, I want to find this one. Charles Dickens modelled... One of his characters on his solicitor's daughter. Now I've seen it's a little tiny headstone and it's going to bug the doodars out of me if I don't find it. So it's one of the things I want to find. It's 9.45 here in New Zealand. What, PM? Got to be, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so we carry on. Uh, just look, mate, about the cemetery. Only found one interesting story. Ah, cheers for that, Lee. Now to make a man happy. Um, <laughs> Let's have a look. I thought my the, when I saw the picture, it looked like it was along here somewhere, but I don't know. It's only a little tiny headstone. But I may be wrong. I usually am. You know what I'm like. I walk around forever trying to find these things. Ah, let's have a little look. Um, yeah, so uh, guys, the other day we were talking about Lee and I are going to do a podcast as well we'll just talk about that while i'm just looking for a moment so uh, we've had some great suggestions in so far we haven't decided on a name yet so however ah ha 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 i've got to do it and you know what yeah i found it yeah right let's have a look hang on
We'll get back to that conversation in a moment. Here we go, look. I knew I'd find it somewhere. Here's one you can all look up. Georgina Margaret Heyman, Knee Bridges. 1829 to 1910, a model for Little Dorrit, the Dickens Fellowship. Okay, and I believe that was his solicitor's daughter and he uh, modeled the um, Little Dorrit on her. So there you go, we found a good one today. Yes, we got there, we got there, we got there, we got there. Oh, that was the main thing today. I just wanted to find one of some interest for you all. Okay, and I knew there was a couple in here, but there we go. So we got one. I can sleep easy at night now, knowing that we found that one. That's the good stuff. Right, okay. So as I was saying, I'll get back to it, okay? Um, we're still doing the podcast, obviously. We've had loads of suggestions come in. Let's extend that because I don't like being too close to the camera, uh, which is great. So we haven't chosen a name yet. And for those of you that don't know what I'm going on about, on the live the other night, uh, because Lee and I have good friendship and good banter and a good laugh, we're going to do a podcast together. And it's not going to be like this. It's not going to be serious and Lee's channel's serious and all the rest of it. It's just going to be us messing about, talking absolute crap all sorts of subjects, topics, anything, you know, we're going to get people involved as well, bring you up on the camera if you want to talk to us and get your point across. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of no holds barred, you know, as, as far as we can push the barrier with YouTube, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Hopefully we're going to start it within the next maybe three weeks or so. Uh, we're just sorting out the finer details of it. But yeah, for those of you that didn't know, that's a plan on which we are doing. So we're going to do that. Um, and like I say, hello Lee, all right mate? If you've got any suggestions at all for names, we've had some great ones in so far, but we're still looking, we haven't decided on anything yet. Uh, and the one we choose, we'll send a beanie hat or something like that, we'll get a little logo made up of the podcast channel and we'll get a beanie hat made up for you of that, okay? So, um, there we go, talking crap. <laughs> love it, so love it. So that's something that we've, um, talked about obviously okay now getting back to subject matter here the one that i've just found is the one that i i was really sort of like looking for i knew was in here there are a few others but i don't know what the graves look like or anything like that and you've seen the place month of sundays okay so and i mean we've done that like a good 42 minutes so far so it's up to you guys do you want me to keep going for a little bit longer do you want me to milk it out to an hour walk around keep having a little look are you um are you all right? Are you bored? You know, let me know. So Paul's kept quiet and hope you've forgotten about the skydive. Ah, oh, no, the skydive's going to happen next year. So don't worry about that. Um, that will happen. Don't worry about it. I've seen Point Break. I can do Keanu Reeves jumping out of a plane. And now it's pissing down. Right. So do you guys want me to carry on for a little bit longer? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Lee's just saying, yeah, because he's seeing me getting soaked, isn't he? No, it doesn't matter. I've got me a John Rambo jacket on. Right. So we'll have a look around. We're going to have a look at some more graves, right? Carry on, carry on, yeah. You know, man's hungry, he needs his breakfast. Can anyone send like a food delivery van for me or something like that? Um, I never wear my glasses when I'm working, so it's always <laughs> for these sorts of reasons. But I don't always need to read the screen, obviously. But when you guys are sending me lovely messages, then of course I need to read what you're saying. So uh, yeah, all right then. But let's get the camera off me. Uh, anything is poddable. Yeah, I like that, Maria. That's a good one. Anything is poddable in its own. There's lots of dog walkers around in here. Now, there is a guy buried in here. Um, or, well, I believe, and I'll tell you why. I was in Asda's the other day, right? And um, a man come up to me, recognised me. I was in there with my mum doing a bit of shopping. And I was standing at the front of the queue, and this guy came up to me, and he actually pointed at my food and went, I think I found it, and I was, like, dying on the spot of embarrassment. Cheers, mate. Um... Uh, hi Stella. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> he come out and done that, and then he went to me, go to Milton Cemetery and film. And I can't remember the lad's name. And this guy used to be a massive Pompey like fan, and he's gone away trips and home trips, and he ended up running um, for like an MP's job or something. Now it's some, it's I think it's like Docker Docker Hughes, but I don't know his real name. I can't, and I'm, you know. Like I said, I've been a Pompey fan of my life. I should do. I was I was around in the 80s, but not as I wasn't as old as old as what he was, obviously. But he died quite young, and I can't remember what he passed away from. But obviously, any Pompey fans will know if they're watching this. They'll go, "Oh yeah, of course." Blah blah blah. blah. But apparently, he's buried in here. Um, but if I do come and see his, his 
final resting place, I'd like to uh, have a bit more knowledge about him and talk about his life. Because like I say, he went, he went into running as a local councillor or something like that. So yeah, it's proper chucking it down now. You lot are lovely to me. See what you see what I go through. Jesus Christ. Yeah, where's that PayPal link? <laughs> he was buy me a coffee. <laughs> yeah, look, it's lovely. I, to be fair, I don't mind. Um, yeah, what? Well, uh, and I know some of you guys are coming up with great names for the um, the podcast and stuff. But what we want to do? Hang on, tag product. No, go away. What's that about? What we want to do is stay away from our channel names. So we want to stay away from Graves or from. Um, you know, like Lee's Diving or Commando Bushcraft and my paranormal stuff. We want to stay away from that completely altogether because that's not what it's about. It's about us just being a couple of gents, if you want to call us that, talking absolute tripe. Um, let's go along this bit. And, you know, just talking about subject matters that are in the news or people that we want to take the mickey out of in a nice way, of course, you know. Um, so yeah, that's sort of along those sort of lines, really. Right, let's. I'll keep. I'm keeping my eyes open for headstones and things while I'm walking along, guys. So don't worry about that. You lot sit in the wall. Ah, oh, fucking hell! I just got hit in the face by a leaf, by a bloody branch, bastard. Um, yeah, excuse the uh, swear words. Um, that was funny. It just, it just went. Poof. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, Marty Hughes. Oh, thanks, Lee. Cheers for looking it up. Marty Hughes. Yeah, Docker Hughes. That was him. His name's Docker. Uh, I don't know if he worked in the dockyard. That was his name. But Marty Hughes. Right. Well, I'll uh, I'll do a bit on him because uh, I promised this guy that I would. And of course, being a Portsmouth fan like me, uh, then uh, I will look into that. God, my hands slipping with the bloody handle. Where so wet. I have to come back to that in a minute. Um, yeah, so walking through here, and uh, at least the rain's eased up. Ah, oh, thank you, Kathy. It's so kind of you. <laughs> I shall endeavour to get that as soon as I've finished. Um, I can't be out all morning, guys, because I've, I've got a parcel being delivered today. That's why I've come out early. I was like, ah, just come out early, get it done. There's not much more in this cemetery that we can see here. It's quite a... Uh, it's quite a small place, really. Uh, do you know what? To be honest... Thank you, Danny. I, to be honest, mate, I don't mind the... Um, I don't mind the, the wet weather. I quite enjoy it. When, when Lee and I were out in Northern Ireland and we'd done George Best, it's absolutely, it was like this, absolutely chucking it down. And we were standing there laughing, saying that we like this sort of weather. Um, I don't know if it's the ex-military in us where you're used to it, you just go out and get on with it, or whether it's just, you're weird and you know, you like this sort of stuff. I like this sort of stuff, I think it's cool. Uh, Paul, is the parcel an umbrella? <laughs> no, Maria, it should be, shouldn't it? I've actually got an umbrella in my car, but this, I don't know if you can see it, oh, it's hard for me to, like my phone is on, oh, I won't move like that. It's on a gimbal, because I'm using my phone today. I'm not using my new camera, as you probably could tell. Because um, I don't know how to do a live from the camera yet, and I wouldn't be able to read the messages, it's too small. So, um, yeah, I've got that on there. I've had an umbrella and I was trying to read notes. It would just be an absolute disaster, I'll tell you. Um, but yeah, I think I will knock it on the air. My jacket is cool, isn't it? I bought it off Amazon, I like it, it's cool. Um, I think I will knock it on the egg, guys, because there's not really much more I can do here. Um, you know, it's chucking it down, which I don't mind, but um, I'm not sure if it's worth your time to come to Thomas Muffet. He's buried in Muncorn Cemetery, my relative. It might be one I'll have to add to the list and have a look at at some point. Um, yeah, but how are we doing for time? Yeah, so getting on a bit, and I want to go and dry up, and I've got to bloody put... Um, I've got to edit Monday's video as well yet, which takes hours, guys, and I haven't, I haven't done that yet. I've got to do my research for next week because I'm going to Liverpool and do some filming on the way up there as well. So I've got lots to do. Um, so I think I will knock it on the head. I haven't really got much more that I can go on about now. We've done, how long have we done? 50 minutes? We've done a good one. All right, everything's soaking wet, as you can see. Look, the camera's all knackered up and stuff. All right, so I will say love you and leave you all. Uh, don't forget, guys, hit the like for me. 
hit subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you a thing. Thanks for joining me this morning. All right, it's been good fun. I've enjoyed it. It's been a good laugh. Um, I'll go and sort my life out. And I'll catch up all with you Monday. Because don't forget, I've got a run to do Sunday. So I need to rest my little legs. All right. And I will see you all on uh, Monday evening, 7 o'clock, usual time. And this is always the bit. I can, I can never leave these conversations casually. I never look good when I leave it. Because I never know how to end the bloody thing. All right. But I'll see you all on the next one. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Let's end it now. Ah.